Welcome to the video by DJ Spear C. Today we have an Irma Typhoon, Typhon. It's an Irma buggy, great vehicle. This is the 3S version, and we have a broken knuckle. Basically, the knuckle we have here right now doesn't seem to be really broken. Oh, no, it is. It broke. Uh, it was re-glued. We didn't have any. Uh, we wanted to continue playing with it. We glued it with uh, CA, and it worked for a while until it. I just see it here. It's hard to see on camera, but it broke again. One of the first thing we do: remove her wheel, remove her X. Put these aside. What we'll need to do is remove a couple of screws here that they are two mil to be able to have access to the knuckle itself. Uh, we're going to remove this one here. <clears throat> that way our knuckle stays freely. The top one's at 2.5 that I forgot to take out. That I do have here somewhere. There we go. Remove our top one. Now you could remove the physical knuckle too at the same, everything at the same time, the carrier should I say. But I try to sometimes remove less pieces as possible on the vehicle itself. It works when you grab the correct screwdriver. No, sorry, you're not seeing it in the camera. So it doesn't want to focus at the same time. Pop this back down. And I should be able to remove our knuckle. The other thing you'll notice too, there is bushings. There's one on the bottom, there's one on the top. This came from the top, put it aside. The bottom one we don't need to touch. Now we remove our dry shaft. And you'll see, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you do. This is where it's cracked. And physically you say where we put the CA to try to repair it. It survived for a while. Now we we'll need to remove our bearings. It is a little bit easier to remove the bearings because nothing's holding them. Is there a carrier here? Like I said, snap. Throw this in the garbage. And we have another set right here. That's the AR-330469. Open the bag. Now they are labeled left and right. And if you're not sure, if you grab the, the old one, huh, they're not labeled, but there's an arrow pointing up, meaning it goes this way. Let's try to grab this guy here. Uh, arrows pointing down, pointing up, not working. That means it's this guy here. Once it's inserted, arrow points up. Pop our bearing back in. Take your dry shaft, put our tra dry shaft back. Now this is where it comes a little bit fun. I insert the dry shaft inside the vehicle, put the bushing close by and the dry shaft falls, or dry shaft, but the knuckle falls. I insert, now I do apologize, you don't really see this. I'm not sure if she's gonna try, she, if the camera's gonna try to focus. The only reason I do it this way is to make sure this bushing and the lower bushing doesn't fall. And when I reinsert this guy in, insert the bottom, then I slide the top in. Now physically everything holds itself. And then I can pop one of the screws. 
and grab our 2.5 and just screw in the lower one. There we go. Again, screw it in until you feel you can't go further. Do not push it because you stripped the tread. Top one won't, the bushing won't fall. We're able to put our screw back in now. And grab the wrong screwdriver again. These MIP drivers, drivers are great. But MIP should maybe start dying, die, put die, put a die in their handles. That way they're easier to spot which one, which color. Because they do have like the 2 mil is red, 2.5 is blue. Or I could pay more attention. Now we'll reattach our steering, lid, or steering link. Make sure everything's aligned. Grab our two mil. Screw our screw back in. Grab our X. Put our pin. Grab a wheel, grab a nut, and screw it back in. And there you go. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that, uh, that thumbs up. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell in the corner here, and you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you very much.